I'm thinking about the ones who aren't here and won't be coming in late. Home all alone without family. Tonight, wish I could know all the lovers and friends kept from gathering. I think of you now. You could go We're all of us Refugees One young life Lost due to harassment Bullying Or hate Is one too many From news accounts It appears that in September At least five teens And possibly more Chose to end their lives in the face of torment from their peers over their sexual orientation or their perceived sexual orientation. This situation can and must change. The time to be complacent is past. My heart aches, as I know yours does, when we think of the suffering that drove these young men to the point that they felt they had no other option but to end their life. Do you believe that one person could have made the difference in one of these young men's lives? Perhaps you could be the person that makes that difference. There is a tremendous energy represented in this gathering tonight. And that energy resides in each and every one of us. So when you leave here tonight, take that energy back with you to your school, to your church or synagogue, to your family, or to your neighborhood. Your voice and your participation can make a difference legislation and conversation, you can make a difference. Write your elected representative. Urge them to include gender identity and sexual orientation in anti-bullying legislation. The time to be complacent is past. We have a lot of work to do but first, tonight, we gather to remember five young men. Asher Brown. Raymond Chase. Taylor Clementi. Billy Lucas, Seth Walsh, and also those who suffered with names we do not know. For laughter, for struggle, for life. Yeah.